Uh, excuse the poor lighting. It is dark. And this is the only lighting I have. Okay, what I got here it is a sixth generation throttle body off an 07. And this is a 2001. Fifth generation. So you can kind of see the differences. So you've got aluminum fuel rails with a joiner right there. I'd say it's an external joiner since you got it uh, bolted on. And the six gens, you have a stainless steel rails, real, real small, a lot smaller. As you can see, and then a pressed-on joiner. And get your little little hats for the uh, fuel injectors, and, and on this, the fuel injectors go inside the railing, the uh, rectangle part here. And then uh, you can see the differences in the fuel injectors. Um, it's cone shaped right there, so he's got like a looks like a washer there. That's part of the injector. Then it's uh, when you pull it out, it's, it's like a cone shape with the one port injector. Uh, these are and these look a lot like Nissan injectors. I think that's what they are. I can't remember. Uh, no, they're den densos, but. Uh, They're pretty much like car, uh, car injectors. But anyways, uh, right now I am just comparing the main hookup wire right here to fifth gen. Let's see, that's I have to compare it to this right here. I'm just gonna color, color match the wires, make sure they line up right. Uh, then I'll. Uh, get the schematics. I obviously have the schematics for this one. This one, in 07, I don't. I think I can get an 02 online. Uh, hopefully, maybe, I, I would think they're the same. 02 is the start of the 6 gens. So, we'll have to find out. And, that's pretty much it. Uh, we can do right now a, a clip-in test. Let's do right here. There we go. I gotta get the mail. Let's see. Let's see that. And that. And it should work because the power commander, fifth gen power commander, works on a sixth gen or a sixth gen works on a fifth. You just gotta flash it. Okay, so it'll fit. I had no worries there since a guy used a power commander off of one of the generations on the other one and DinoJet gave him the flashing software for it or they did it for him and because uh, they're the same connectors on the fifth and sixth generations uh, these big fat round ones right here uh, couple problems I've run into. Uh, the very first one was the air box. Uh, here's the fifth gen, the bottom one. And uh, fifth gens have separate coils. Six gens, the coils on the spark plug. Um, spark plug uh, where it go right on the spark plug. Uh, the coils on top of it like an automobile. Uh, the back Two coals are, they bolt right here, one below, one on top right here. And they bolt like this, and then their wires are right here. Uh, the other two are bolted to the frame, one here, one there. Uh, so that's one problem. Here's the six gen. As you can see, there's nowhere to bolt that. So I'm probably going to have to just 
bolt the cools together. Use the bolts like that. Get a spacer between them. Bolt them. Kind of set them between this and then I'll probably have to drill some holes and uh, put some zip ties and then seal this up just to hold it. Uh, I'll end up having to do if, if this contour is the same on the 6th gens, I may get another 5th gen and 6th gen box and cut, uh, cut the bottom right here and then glue it together. I don't want to, I like to keep my originals uh, alone. I don't want to hack these up. So I'll have to get one each and uh, it looks the exact same. The only difference is, is this thing, whatever the hell this is for, uh, two two vent ports uh, for the crankshaft. I know this is just like the fifth gen right here. Right there, right there. That's the same. Uh, this one, I, I don't know. If, I guess it's another crankcase vent. Uh, then the map sensor right there will screw right here. There's a little hole right there for the screw. So that's good. Uh, other than that, everything's the same. Uh, you can follow follow the curve. So, uh, see, exact exact same. Get, uh, I don't have the top half, but uh, the same. Uh, that's different. This holds the pair valve. Pair valve sits kind of down here, and then there's like a metal rod that sits there, and it just kind of suspends. Uh, this one obviously doesn't have it. Of course, I don't have the uh, pair valve installed. I don't have to have it. It's sitting right there. <sighs> okay, so that's the only main thing is the coals. Cool, the two coal packs. There they are right here. And uh, they just stack in a bolt with space. And that acts like a spacer, the plastic. Uh, another problem is the main harness is on the left side and here's the main connector for the throttle body and the harness uh, this one I have it sitting as if it was installed uh, wires are on the right <laughs> I, I could I could do this cram it like that but that's not gonna reach as you can see this this goes all the way right here and this goes right here so I'm gonna have to do some uh, you can see this I really don't want to hack into this stuff because one even if I cut this that doesn't mean all these wires are running this direction some may be running this way and that might be why this is the meeting point right here that's why they stuck it here there may be a few going this way a few going this way and even if I cut right here I may not be able to pull it because there's some wires going this way so I don't know I don't want to cut that open that's nice it's still pretty 